Hey guys, I'm Khalilo Reynolds and it's time for Money Mondays brought to you in partnership with Proven Wealth. There's a buzz phrase going around that for some reason I keep hearing a lot these days. Generational wealth. Have you heard it lately? Seems like everybody's suddenly talking about creating generational wealth. True wealth that your offspring and future generations can benefit from. Sounds pretty straightforward, right? But do you truly understand what this entails and how to create it? Well, creating generational wealth is definitely a goal of mine. Most of us who have children worry about what will happen in the tragic event that we die while our children are still young. Who will take care of them? How will they be supported? Now, you might have family who will take them in, but you still worry that they'll be a burden on your loved ones, extra mouths to feed, especially if those family members don't necessarily have it like that to begin with. And what about their bigger expenses in life, like paying for college? So some people buy life insurance as a way to mitigate against that and give themselves peace of mind that if anything ever happens to them, their children will be taken care of financially. But life insurance isn't the same as generational wealth. Like earned income from a job, it's finite. You pay your premiums, and when you die, the life insurance company pays out a fixed amount of money to your beneficiaries. But at some point in time, that money will run out. It doesn't continue to earn income, not unless you invest it, of course. Now, similarly, generational wealth is not necessarily about amassing a huge fortune in your lifetime that you can then bequeath to your children when you die. Just like life insurance, that's finite. At some point in time, your children can feasibly, feasibly spend it all. As long as it's a fixed amount, at some point it will run out. In fact, amassing a huge fortune in your lifetime isn't even necessary to create generational wealth. And now you're looking at me crazy like, huh? What is Kalila talking about? How can you have wealth without a fortune? But think about it. You can have even the highest paying job in the world. You could be like a football star with a multi-million dollar salary. But as soon as you get injured, your career is over and your income ceases. You can be the most successful entertainer, but next year someone else is hot. No one is interested in you anymore. And yeah, those people were able to amass great fortune in their lifetime. But how many stars do you hear go broke within a few years? They amassed all this money, but they didn't let it work for them. They didn't create generational wealth, and they lost it all the minute that they stopped working. Same thing happens to many lotto winners. They've amassed a fortune, but it's finite. They spend it all on liabilities like fancy cars and expensive vacations and clothes. And then they're back at square one once the money is finished. Creating generational wealth is about owning assets that will continue to generate income even in your absence and long after you're gone. Stocks and bonds, businesses, real estate, the three keys to wealth that I spoke about in an earlier episode. How many of you have read the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad? I read it years ago, but I wasn't ready for the lessons at the time. It's only now that I'm a bit older and have experienced some of the things that Robert Kiyosaki was writing about that it's really sinking in and I'm ready to receive, internalize, and act upon those lessons. So for those of you not familiar with the book, here's the premise. Kiyosaki's father is the one he refers to as his poor dad. Now, poor dad is a highly educated college professor whose philosophy in life is study hard, get good grades so you can find a good job, and then work hard so you can keep that good job and eventually get a raise and get promoted, buy your dream house, and so on. So drop a raised hand emoji in the comments if this is how you were raised, because that's certainly how I was raised. You study hard and you work hard all your life, all to someone else's benefit. You use all that studying and work to build someone else's business, yeah? So now Kiyosaki's rich dad is actually his best friend's dad, a wealthy entrepreneur who owns dozens of businesses. Rich dad's advice? Own your own business 
and hire people like Poor Dad, make other people work for you, and make money work for you. So the only way Rich Dad can own multiple businesses is because he doesn't have to be at each and every one every single day. That's physically impossible. He set them up in a way that they can effectively run day to day without him. His input is only needed at board meetings and such. But even if he was to die, those businesses would continue generating income. And the same can be done with real estate, income generating real estate that is, rental properties, both residential and commercial. Once you own the property and you're renting it, you don't really have to do much for it to continue earning income, except a little maintenance here and there, which you could easily pay someone else to do. So you could start out with one and eventually have multiple properties, all earning income without you technically having to lift a finger other than finding a renter. So you just look in your bank account at the end of the month and see the direct deposits there and you could die tomorrow and those properties would continue earning income. Your children would be able to have the same standard of living that they currently have. The same goes for investing in the stock market and any other income generating assets. That is generational wealth. So if you're depending primarily on your job, your monthly salary for income, like most of us do, then you need to start creating a different mindset, a rich dad mindset. And I'm not saying to go out and quit your job, but take that earned income and invest it in income generating assets, things that will earn you even more income then you'll be on your way to generational wealth. That's it for Money Mondays, brought to you in partnership with Proven Wealth. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of this video, share with a friend, and of course, follow and subscribe. I'm Kalila Reynolds. See you next week.